hey hi guys so as you can see uh, these are the all the you know components that were there inside the box and uh, let me try to you know do a kind of quick bench testing let me set my camera a bit okay let's start so okay i'm putting these boxes aside mm -hmm. So first, let me, okay. I hope you all can see, so this is for the rear back cam, okay, so let me connect this. So uh, let me show you like you know there is a arrow so if you can see that you know there is an arrow mark over here and also in the on the camera side jack they have given this arrow mark so you just need to put those So basically like this I hope it's got fixed so this is done okay then the main camera so It's a USB mini, mini or macro. I'm not. I think this is a mini, mini USB. So, yeah. Yep. That's it. And this. Uh, let me try with the USB will it be no okay so I have a kind of you know power backup sort of thing I'll review about this as well so uh, why not let me share this information in this video only so instead of using this you know the company provided cable uh, what i'll do let me open this i'll directly use this one so so once i put this see you can hear the sound and now the camera is on so basically okay so this is how you know let me take out the screen Not okay so English Oh 
okay by the way this is not a touch screen so this says about the indicator lights green means recordings blue means standby and red means error so this one is currently in blue so that means it's in standby mode when power on press to turn screen on okay okay so basically that this is the power pattern and also like screen on off pattern press and hold to turn off okay as mentioned so if i keep it pressing so this gets switch off but i'm not able to see how and where to put the other camera okay so now this is a slot the smaller one you can see the smaller so basically here goes the rear cam no usb my mean micro usb slot so let me switch on now both the cameras should be working so this is kind of switched on i'm not sure if the rear cam is switched on or not need to find it out okay let me clean the glass so as such you cannot you know uh, know whether the rear cam is switched on or not so i think from here only will come to know so this is the scroll button yeah so we need english okay 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 so i need to set the date then one so today is 15th yep 15th done then the time please calibrate the system time at 12:51 is not detected seventy my parking surveillance cable is not detected cannot enable parking surveillance connect the cable then enable it in settings okay hmm. I'm not sure to do that okay we'll check it out scan the qr code to download and install the 70 mi f for photos and videos okay so please 
please insert SD card. External camera has been connected. Okay, so we need to insert a memory card. Okay, just a second. Let me see if I am having a SD card. Okay. I should be having an HD card. Just hold on a second. Please format SD card. So now this is formatting. Formatting successful. Great. So it has started recording now. Hmm. And how to see? Switch to rear facing recording. Okay. Yep. So both this is the back cam. You know. So technically you you really cannot make it out if the back cam is on or not from back like suddenly if you see but definitely you can only make out when the front cam is on and you know you toggle it uh, toggle it to the rear facing cam so this is like the option for toggling switch to front facing recording okay so this is like start recording emergency video okay how to stop i don't know Okay, see you. Recording complete. Okay, I think for around about 30 seconds. So if you press over here, it will start recording emergency video. So around about 30 seconds, it might be recording. So I'm not sure. I need to check exactly. This is entering the album will stop. Okay. okay so here you can navigate like you know on uh, the uh, i'm guessing like the videos and the pictures for both front cam and the back cam okay so let me go one second okay i selected the front cam oh okay so if I click select this, okay, delete. Okay. Delete. 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 
so no videos now okay this is the back cam no video okay so it starts recording then and there any okay video settings this is very useful parking uh, parking surveillance but no parking surveillance cable detected please enable parking surveillance after connecting the cable okay i have to find that out this is time lapse recording recording duration so i think you can yeah so maximum three minutes you can acha video storage high compression ratio low compression ratio okay so basically that is the file size you know if you make it high it will be less uh, and if you low then definitely the file size would be bigger so here video resolution this is the maximum to i think uh, this is to k uh -huh, 2.7 ultra hd video so that's the option you can always go ahead and select as per your requirement then the refresh rate wdr what is this wdr i need to check uh, speed latitude longitude Okay, so basically uh, it will detect your you know GPS location and you can set uh, the unit it's in kilometer per hour even you can convert it to miles per hour okay and this is 70 my logo on off okay so you can switch off that and from here you will need to you can access the system setting so select wi-fi hotspot power on wi-fi hotspot audio recording also you can do and as is the screen saver time on speaker volume okay speaker volume auto of when stopped so yeah i want to switch off yep yeah that this is nice otherwise that sound is irritating auto off when stopped do not turn off automatically auto off in 20 minutes after stop auto off in 10 minutes after stop okay 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes and don't turn it off okay then system timing so this i have actually set up i think once we connect to the wi-fi it will automatically update i mean the date and time so this is the driving duration alert you'll get continuous driving time alert you'll get voice alert method so okay so if you continuously driving for four hours you'll get an alert two three and four you can select the duration then voice alert method is 
alert every 15 minutes okay that's nice so these are nice good features you know sometimes you f you feel sleepy and this is where you know that time it really helps download app system update okay detect download upgrade package we can just just game will be put in up now please connect charger throughout the upgrade process okay okay and it starts recording okay nice this is good yeah that's all i need to find you know this is currently yeah one more thing so from amazon you can buy this you know kind of uh, small battery pack uh, through which you can connect and basically if you uh, it's kind of you know parking surveillance it will act as a parking surveillance so if you put this it will keep on continuously recording as per you know uh, what on the specification says on the webs uh, uh, from the seller on the website uh, for this camera uh, with this battery pack uh, it will be continuously recording for a week's time so you know e even though if it is not weeks also if 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 it gives a backup of say uh, two to three days also that's quite excellent you know and again this one you can connect so currently if you see uh, this is this wire is connected over here which goes into the power uh, and and again the other side is having the normal usb so so uh, suppose uh, like you know you can put this on the cigarette charger and uh, you know uh, while the car is moving so it will get charged so let's say for you know three days you have not driven your car and this battery is going to give a backup for your uh, camera and it will act as a parking uh, parking surveillance and once you switch on the car and again you know uh, go for a drive so definitely this is once again going to get recharged uh, so let me see okay so i think this is a quick charger and uh, uh, okay for the 70 mi we need to put in this red slot so like this you can put it into your car cigarette lighter so this will <coughs> from here the current will go into this battery pack you know this one it will get charged and from here <coughs> it is getting the camera both the cameras are getting you know the power so this is the back camera once again okay this is cool and uh, the best part is like you know if you have this battery pack So this is like, you know, there is some heat, you know, nice, quite a bit of heat it is generating the screen. Nice.
Yeah, quite a lot of heat. So I'm just casually scrolling through all the features, you know, just checking. I hope this video is informative, you know, and I've done the bench testing. It's always good to do a bench test uh, rather than going and directly putting it, you know, in the car and then you find out something is not working because you need to put the cabling and everything correctly over there so just to check you know and save your time uh, kindly do a bench test and then you can go and install it in your car so i'm just going you know through the manual and just checking how to mount it I'll, I'll i'll try to you know uh, make another another video of installation okay so for this we need to download the app also the best part is uh, in this is like you know from through the app also you can see uh, live video so even suppose if you have given this car to your friends or fa anyone in the family is using it so if you want to really see or uh, track the car you can do that definitely it needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi so you can do that always and that's good actually like you know So this camera supports from 16 GB to 128 GB card, speed rating of class 10 or higher. And you know the best part about um, uh, buying this small battery parking monitoring kit battery pack from, you know this is again made by the next Digitron company is that you don't uh, really uh, have to uh, put that extra you know parking surveillance um, cable and then do the hardwaring with the battery of your car so just imagine if the battery is weak you know it will it will constantly drain power from the battery so in that scenario like this really helps and I feel this is a better, better, you know, way to put and 
yeah. nowadays if you see in most of the cars il, uh, the companies are like you know you cannot put outside any third party kind of uh, you know outside accessories and all not th third party but outside accessories yeah and uh, 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 and they keep saying that it will void the warranty so just to you know uh, keep your warranty intact i think this is the best option rather than doing a hard wearing with the battery in your car so this is like plug and play you know again your warranty for the car remains intact because they really cannot do anything this is uh, because all the cars are having this usb port so you are just connecting uh, from the usb port to power this little small battery pack it will keeps getting the power from there and you know store the power in this and once you switch off the car uh, then definitely you know it it works like a magic like it provides power to this both the cameras so um, as as in the site it was mentioned like you know uh, it gives uh, weeks or more than that for uh, this particular model camera but i'm not sure uh, because this camera is also again having uh, is also used as only a front camera and i have taken the rear also rear one with uh, with this so if if you know i am assuming uh, if this front camera works for a week say uh, since i am connecting two cameras so i am assuming 3 days which is you know quite good if it actually gives a 3 day backup because within 3 days definitely you are going to switch on your car and drive to some nearby place or at least to your office for some commuting purpose uh, and I'll, I'll definitely update that on my later video uh, how much backup i am getting you know uh, on this and also try to make another video of um, while i do that